few weeks ago, I made a video discussing the same side attribute change that Chrome has done in their 80th version. And I explained how it is actually a great change and it might actually prevent almost all cross-site request forgery attacks. And I'm gonna reference the, the news video that I made. However, it looks like Chrome, uh, uh, Chrome 80 has finally been released and people start being complaining they're confused website owners are confused because of their websites start to break right because of this change so I thought I'd take a few minutes just to explain what is actually happened by actually explaining what is the same site attribute by example so i have hosted a website and i have the source code here so i'm gonna try all the attributes starting with same site strict same site lax and see the behavior and same site none and finally a cookie without the same site attribute which is this has been the change that chrome has done if you're interested stay tuned all right so here guys i have a website that I have built on Express. What this website does is very, there is a login post request. If you make that, I'm gonna sit from the server, the server will set a cookie to your browser. And if that cookie is set, you will be able to access the image that I have set here, which is like an image. If you don't give me that cookie, you will get a 403, which is a forbidden. Let's dis describe this behavior, okay? So this is the website. I called it same site.ddns.net, just a free website uh, domain that I got, and I point into my router, which points to a port forward, which points to my Mac, which point to HA proxy, which point to the Express, and all that jazz. We talked about how do you do all that stuff in many videos on this channel. Check them out. Okay. So here's what I have I have a button called login, which will send that post request. This is an HTML page. And when I do that, the cookie will be set. And the current configuration that I said will be the same site strict. So let's explain what exactly that does. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in, right? And if I log in, now I go to application. You can see that I have a cookie. It's secure and it's a strict, same site strict. What does that mean? Well. As long as I am in the same site, .dns.net, the same website, if I refresh, as you can see, the refresh to actually retrieve the image has succeeded and gave me the image. Previously, if you notice, the image was broken because I didn't have a cookie. So that's the behavior, right? And if I do, if I go ahead and, and actually kill that cookie, right and I refresh again the image is now broken that's the image tag that I have in my HTML page so it's referencing the actually it's the same domain so that's not bad right okay so let's log in again okay and refresh this page okay now I can view the image the strict property here doesn't apply to the same domain that I'm viewing with but if I go to another website, which is like a website that I hosted on my uh, GitHub page, right? So I have here a web page hosted on my GitHub page, and it's an HTML page with an image tag and an, and a URL. The image tag literally just tries to view the image, which is obviously failing because I don't have the cookie yet, like because I didn't refresh. But the second one actually just when I click on it, it will navigate to the actual image I can, if you if you go back and if you can see the the source code here you can see that this is the image goes to the image and this is just actually to try to displace the image all right so if i refresh despite me actually logging into the website the image is broken because that is a property of the strict and the reason is this image is broken despite me having the cookie on the same side domain is because the request that have been made to actually bring the image has the browser decided not to send the cookies to the website. So if you don't send the cookie, obviously you the web server will not recognize you. If it, if it doesn't recognize you, you don't actually get the image. So that's... That's what's happening here. So with the strict property, 
browsers do not send the cookies if you're trying to visit them and they also do not send the cookies even if you actually click on a link that goes to the same site so if i click here that image will be also broken see that's called top level navigation where we see we got forbidden that's the error right if i copy that literally and just paste it in the, another url that works because that's a different behavior right that's you're actually going the same site right the website that you're visiting is actually the same website here it's a little bit shady you wear on a website and you try to go obviously that's not a very nice user experience like i'm clicking on a url and you're <laughs> you're not even allowing me to go to that url with my cookies imagine this is facebook if you're in piratebay.org and there is a link to the facebook you click to the the facebook link it will completely direct you to facebook and you will and you will get your login credential and you facebook will recognize you because the cookies were sent all right let's try the other property which is let's do lax this time okay obviously we need to re-log in again right so let's kill my cookies that i have here because now it says strict right my cookie is strict i don't want a strict cookie i want to kill this refresh obviously i need to log in again and the moment i log in you can see now it's lax so what does it mean same behavior if i am in the same website you can still vi visit it normally right but if i go to this guy and i refresh i still don't get the image because the cookies will not be sent if you are in another domain right because you're requesting from another domain if it's if the cookie is set as lax uh, the browser will not send them so that's a similar thing to the strict right but if you're clicking a link that actually does a top level navigation that actually changes that thing guess what it works because the cookies have been sent actually have been sent and let's actually confirm that okay if i if i click on this guy you can see that this is the request that i made and if i go to the cookies we actually have sent the cookies right sweet so that's lax lax is a little bit relaxed you notice right so you can click links that completely changes the website but you cannot retrieve scripts images pretty much anything from a website other than the actual that is your domain right if it's set as lax okay so that's also broken okay let's try the none the none, the none, the none option here, same site equal none. Well, you will notice that it's the most unsecure way, I guess, of things. Yeah, so let's clear up my cookies here and then refresh. All right, now let's log in again. And you can see now same site is actually none. So that's the third property. So what, is, what does it mean? well here it's the same thing right i am the same website so it's very safe to actually send the cookies because you are in, literally in the same domain and you're requesting image from the same domain that's absolutely fine let's go to the say, shady website what is that look at that the image was actually loaded despite me being from another website so what happened here is when i made the request to actually retrieve the image the image tag which is actually a git request right the cookies were sent so if the cookies were sent that means the server recognized it that means the server returns the actual image so you can do it so that is where same side equal none you can view resources directly and make git request not just the images right git request post request pretty much anything right like that okay so you can actually make requests from that website despite you being in another domain and that's where most cross-site request forgery attacks right if you have like 
and uh, if, if someone injected a script, if forces you, if someone forced you to visit a website that made a, a get request or even a post request that I don't know, uh, transfer money from your Bank of America account and Bank of America you were already logged into Bank of America and the browser, if, if that cookie was set to the same side they call none, the browser will actually send the cookie and the Bank of America, if they were dumb and they don't use GAPTCHA, they will actually successfully transfer the money to anyone's account by the act of just merely visiting a page, which is extremely dangerous, right? But Bank of America, obviously, or any banks, they don't just accept any post request, even if it was you, right they make you do this two-factor authentication and all that garbage obviously guys if you visit the actual thing the website will also work right because we also send the cookies in that scenario all right the final cookie attribute which is the actual chrome change what they did the absence of same site what does it mean if the same site didn't exist? Before, prior to that, same site, if you don't have the same site attribute like this, it, were, it was treated like this, like as if the, what we saw, where, where request will always get sent, the cookies will always be sent, okay? But Chrome 80 changed that so that if you don't have the same site attribute, they will treat it as lax which is the, the second uh, property we talked about, where the image will not load, right? But if you click on a link, it, we will send the cookies. So let's actually prove that. I have Chrome 80 here. Obviously, let's kill the cookies, refresh, log in, and you can see that we don't even have a same site property. There's nothing, right? And that's what I don't like about this, right? If, I mean, uh, Chrome should actually tell me that, by the way, I am treating this as a, as a lax, right? But it, they don't tell you. It's just implicit, apparently. Or maybe there is a, a property I forgot to, to see. Okay. Now, if I log in and refresh this thing, I'm logged in, obviously. And if I go to my website, refresh, cookies will not be sent for the resource to request the image. So the image will not be visible. And you know why, right? Because it's it's exactly like lax. Prior to prior to Chrome 80, that image would have displayed if I don't have the same side attribute. Okay. And if I click that link, obviously this will work. As you see, right? All right, guys. That's it for me. I wanted to just clarify because there are a lot of, I got a lot of questions from you guys just to explain this thing because I made a lot of video about same side and cookies and I made this news. So I started getting questions. Hey, what, what happened here and what should we do? So that's what happened, right? So you know what's going on now. If you are, if your observer is sitting cookies, make sure today if you want that behavior to set it as same side equal none and secure. You have to do it this way if you want uh, scripts to execute or if you want, if you're referencing something from, especially authentication. This is really, gets really weird with authentication, right? Things like, I don't know, yeah. So that, that was the, essentially the same side attribute. Hope you enjoyed this video. I wanted to make a dedicated video because this is like a really in-demand topic now. I wanted to clarify all these ambiguous things. Hope that makes sense, guys. See you in the next one. You guys stay awesome.